Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Shafiq here. My team and I will talk about the state of water. There are three states of water. First is solid state. For example, ice. It's cold. Second is liquid state. For example, water. Third is gaseous state, which is water vapor. Nowadays, our Earth is facing a global warming. Oh no! But what is a global warming? Global warming is the process that causes the Earth temperature to rise and make the Earth warmer. Imagine, what happens if the world get, gets warmer? Oh no! The world is in danger! Did you know? The facts about 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water and presently 10% of land area on Earth is covered with glacial ice, including glaciers, ice caps, and the ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica. Now you know, right? When temperature rise, Earth gets warmer. The ice sheet will start to melt causing sea level to rise. This will cause widespread flooding. This will be a big problem to us. Next, my friend Mukrit will talk more about the problem. Hi, my name is Mukri. We have identified one real problem. For our topic, to, for our topic we will be focusing on the melting of icebergs and glaciers. Iceberg is solid form when it's melting, it's changed to water in liquid form. Let's look at the factors that contribute to iceberg and glaciers melting. One of the reasons is global warming that increases temperatures. Global warming is causing, causing this iceberg to melt at a faster rate than iceberg melted in the past. Many glaciers are already melting and, sh and shrinking throughout the world. If the temperature increases, they will continue to melt. As the glaciers melt, the ocean level will rise. This could cause flooding in cities located near the coast. Animals will migrate to higher ground because their old habitats get flooded. This will, will upset the food chain and put some species in danger of extinction. Don't worry, we still have time for a, a change and save the world. Here are seven easy steps that might help to reduce the impact of global warming. Hi, I am Rumi with the solution. Number one, we can, we can reduce, reuse, and recycle. We need to cut down on the amount of waste that we throw away. It also helps to conserve resources, landfill space, and energy. Number two, save gas. By carpooling, it's cut down on the number of cars and vehicles on the road and use hybrid car. This means there will be less carbon and other gases and pollution get into the air, water, and land. Number three, plant a tree. Plants it can absorb carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and it will produce oxygen. Planting a tree can also balance the increases of carbon dioxide. My other friend from my team will continue with the solution. Hi, I, my name is Raisha. I am here to continue my friend's solution. Number five, save electricity. Turn off lights, television, PC, and other electrical devices when not in use. Conversation of electrical energy can help us lessen pollution and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Number six, use solar energy. The production of solar energy in cities is clearly a way to do diminish our dependency to fossil 
fuels and is a good way to mitigate global warming by lowering the emission of greenhouse gases. Number seven, informing others. Inform family, friends, and colleagues about how they can save Earth even a little bit by following those tips that me and my friends have shared today. Thanks guys for watching. We are going to show you the process of how solid changes to liquid where the ice melts and changes into water.